And many call crime the number one problem in Indianapolis, the city coming off the deadliest year in its history with 144 confirmed homicides in 2015. So on his second day on the job, Mayor Joe Hongset is laying out his plan to keep Indy safe. Call 6 investigates Paris Lubel breaking down the mayor's plan tonight. Good evening, Melissa. As you said, 2015 brought a record number of homicides for the city of Indianapolis and the mayor wasting no time in getting a plan together to make the city safer. And of all days, on a Saturday. Indianapolis is in the midst of a public safety crisis. It was a promise during his campaign. As mayor, I'll add 150 more police. And now on day two, after taking over as Indy's mayor, he's already hitting the ground running. The mayor calling in the people in charge of local, state, and federal law enforcement to make a plan to work together to make Indy safer. Today, I am announcing a series of immediate actions that will be initiated over the next 100 days of this administration. The mayor and new police chief Troy Riggs laid out a five-point plan for IMPD. The first focus, community-based neighborhood policing beats in the city's six focus areas. They will be in those areas, getting to know the community, going to community meetings, understanding the issues that they're facing. Second, a brand new collaboration effort between local, state, and federal law enforcement and the creation of a homicide response team to identify and prosecute illegal activity that contributed to the homicide. And according to U.S. Attorney Josh Minkler, those law enforcement agencies want to help. All of the federal law enforcement agencies here have skin in the game. Federal law enforcement is all in with a goal of reducing violent crime. Third, rounding up the people on the streets with outstanding felony warrants, who according to the mayor are responsible for continuing the cycle of violence. Fourth, bring data to the hands of police. The mayor says they will create a real-time crime data center to identify and address current and emerging threats. And fifth, having IMPD reach out to the community and addressing the root causes of violence. But that community outreach doesn't just stop at the police department. IFD and others will also take part in that as well. With a staggering homicide rate in 2015, the mayor says he is committed to making Indy a safer place. And although some people will say we've heard the same thing from previous mayors. Uh, there is uh, one new face here, and that's mine. Uh, I've never been the mayor of Indianapolis before. Give us some time, wait and see what our results are, and make your judgments accordingly. The mayor says this will not be an overnight fix. It could take months or even years to really reduce the number of violent crimes. He says this is the beginning of the road for the future. He says they will also have in the next 100 days a team of federal, state, and local law enforcement agencies arresting more than 1,400 people with active felony warrants. Now we have the mayor's full plan online at theindychannel.com. In the newsroom, Paris LaBelle, Call 6 Investigates. Paris, thank you. Well,